Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews again with some uh, interesting information. Now I um, I create my websites using Zara Web Designer, um, especially the new version now, 9, but um, I was having some trouble with some of my uh, HTML inputs here. Um, basically I was having trouble because I use ECWID um, or Equid, some people call it, in order to make my store and I also use JotForm for my forms but what has been happening is uh, if I create a, some a page in web designer um, it won't automatically stretch so I was trying to figure out how to fit uh, inf something into uh, my website so that it could fit let me show you an example you see this form right here was created with uh, jot form and uh, as you can see it has this beautiful scroll here um, and the scroll also works with uh, in in my iPad uh, I can't show you this here because I'm doing a screen capture but nonetheless uh, I'm able to create uh, the size that I want of the form and when the person comes using even an iPad or on their computer and they come to this form they realize that they have to add more you know if they add their name and then put more information um, the the screen can't stretch but the actual div tag here does scratch does stretch and we'll talk more a little bit about the div tags a little later I'll show you how exactly I did it so let's show you how to do this so we're gonna go over here to my web designer and basically here is the div okay the widget and as you can see the widget is only a thousand pixels tall which means that if I were to go to a part that's longer than 1000 pixels it would uh, it would cut off normally it would cut off at the bottom here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the HTML code body and I'm going to stretch this out a bit so you can see a little bit better. Now here is the actual code that I get when I uh, import from ECWID um, and create the create the div tag that I use for my forms. But as you can see here, this I wrapped that entire div, the div they gave me, the code they gave me in another div that div I gave a style and I put the height of a thousand pixels and I turned on overflow and this is the part that makes it compatible with the iPad um, the web kit overflow scrolling for touch screen okay so let's go back and look at a part that doesn't have it on and then we're gonna add it so for example here if I go to my uh, getting married section here I know I have a form here okay so this form right here as you can see it's cut off it's cut off here at the bottom there's an, you could see it cutting off right here so what we're going to do is we're going to add the code to this form so that it will scroll. Okay, real simple. We're going to go to that page. <clears throat> Here's the page right here. It looks good here because, of course, it looks fine when you're creating it on in um, in the web designer, but it doesn't fit. Right now, the the form or the the actual um, placeholder is 1064 pixels tall. <clears throat> We're going to make this placeholder um, and you could tell you're holding on to the placeholder because we have the, the, the rectangle layer selected right here. Okay, And I could move it. Okay, And then I'm going to make sure that I have the widget selected here. Here's my placeholder. Okay, So this background here, this rectangle is 1064 tall. The actual widget, let's select the widget real quick here. Okay, the actual widget 
is 1050. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this a nice round number. We're going to make it um, we're going to make it 900 pixels. No, we're going to make it 1000 pixels tall. Oh, let's go ahead and match. Let's go ahead and match the uh, the the picture here. So we're going to make this 1000 pixels. Oh, one thing I want to uh, remind you to do, um, since it kind of messed up, let's back up here. I want you to notice that when I change the height, the width also changed. I don't want this width to change. So in order to do that, I have to unlock the aspect ratio and make it a thousand. Okay. So now it's a thousand tall and we're going to line it up here. Okay. And, uh, now, as you can see, this runs over here. So we're going to make, we're going to select our widget, and we're going to make the widget a thousand pixels tall also. Now, when I created the jot form, I told jot form that I wanted the width to be 365 pixels, which is why this is not going to change. So now we have the form. As you can see, it's cut off here. Let's line it up with the top of the form here, with the top of the page here, or the top of my, my square here. Make sure that everything's centered. Now we need to give it some scrolling. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the to the to the actual widget. We're gonna edit the widget. Ah, and as you can see, I used their I used their um I used the designer to do to add the widget to add the page element and I did this form here and I use this now we do not want to use this in order to create the, the add the form so we're gonna delete this widget here okay and we're gonna put a placeholder we're gonna change the placeholder color so we can uh, see it okay and we're going to make this placeholder 300. Let's turn this off. 365 by 1000. Okay. And we're going to line it up here. And make sure it's square there. Okay. Now we're going to go to jot form. And here's the form we want. Okay, so as I said before, on the actual form, the form width was 355, so I gave it a little bit of buffer apparently. Okay, so we made that form about 355. We're gonna go to the source code here. This is what I want to copy. So we're gonna copy this. We're gonna go to back to the Zara Web Designer. We're going to click on our rounded rectangle here, the blue one. We're going to make sure that we create a placeholder. Here it is. We're going to paste that in there. I'm going to apply. Let's regenerate so that we can see what we're doing. And there's our form. Okay. Again, it's cut off because we only have it to be at 1,000 pixels high. So how do we? Uh, and let's push it over just a little bit. So how do we make it scroll? Well, we're going to add the that information. We're going to edit here, and we're going to wrap this in a div. So let's go ahead and wrap it in a div. And to do that, you just press div here, and we're going to close the div tag. Okay, very good. So now we're going to style, do an inline style for this div. So we're going to put style equals, wrap our quotes around, give myself some space to type, and we're going to create the height, which is, we said, a thousand pixels. We have to end, of course, the line with a colon. And then in the next line, 
we're going to do um, overflow is auto we're going to make it auto so that we don't if the if it's shorter than a thousand pixels high it won't create uh, the um, the bat the uh, the scroll bars but if it goes uh, taller than a thousand pixels then it will that way we don't have the uh, the side scrolling bars just there for no reason okay and of course we have to create our web kit and our web kit was web kit overflow scrolling and then we want that to be touch and that gives it the information for um, for the browser in your um, in your smartphones and in your iPads and things like that so that you can use touch to scroll up and down so let's see if that worked let's check our coding here the diff style is in line height a thousand pixels overflow auto and webkit overflow scrolling is set to touch okay and we close the the div here's our main code right here from our from our form we say okay and as you can see it already included the scroll bar okay of course we can't move it here let's back that up we can't um, move it here so let's let's uh, let's check it okay so here's our page and here's our form the form works nicely let's see like for example if I were to click here and but click away I get this field is required and now we have more of a scroll bar okay so um, there there we have it now in real life what I could also do is push this over as you can see the, my address bar kind of comes out a little bit so let's push this over just a little bit to give it a little space and make it a little wider to give space to the to the scroll bar and voila we have it we're gonna save it again let's go ahead and publish it okay now that we have it exported we're gonna go ahead and go to our site reload it or refresh it and there we have it now we can fit anything in any area using those um, that little code and it works on any form um, now my customers can fill out their forms and if it expands like such as these required fields here if if I go away from the required fields and it gets taller I don't have to worry about whether or not they'll be able to see and I've already tried this on an iPad or on my phone and it works just fine thank you very much